Well, I'm out and about in Texas today. I'm buying a old converted dump trailer uh, from an F-150 one ton maybe pickup truck straight side. So the hydraulics they say are new but leaking. The seal's leaking. So we'll see. But for $600, listen, I can't t touch a dump trailer hydraulic driven even if I have to drive by new hydraulics. So I've taken a break. I'm halfway to pick up the trailer and feels like a real deal nowadays i don't trust craigslist i don't trust uh facebook marketplace one out of three times they're just not right but uh so every now about 80 percent of the time i win on, on that but these places man i enjoy them let me rotate here and we'll take a look about so you know i'm building a thousand year house and paul here has this is called broadway paul's in page texas and he has all kinds of architectural salvage and uh, interesting things. That's obviously for a wagon if I needed to get my wagon set up. I've got a wagon I think was the wagon owned by uh, Catherine Wright, uh, if I got the name, if I remember right. The Wright brother's sister, and she. there's a picture of the wagon that I have, her carriage, at the uh, accident that uh, forever uh, stopped uh, what was it, Orville Wright from flying again? So, but um, how fun is that? Lots of architectural stuff here. All right. Anyway, I, I, this is my uh, this is my personal journal of what's taken me so long to get my house built, and obviously, it takes a long time to build a house when you're doing a farm at the same time and doing things look at this I want to build a historically uh, accurate Gonzales cannon and uh, if I could find a couple of those I would now that there the Gonzales cannon was just solid core Lee and I are gonna go visit that at the Gonzales Museum here uh, this month because I want to take some pictures and some dimensions on it Looky here. every time I stop here there's more to see than I can look at There's a cherry picker back in there. Oh, that's interesting to me. Oh, there's a, sur is that a survey? I'll see how much he wants for that survey marker because I want to do my fields. See right here? A oh, bunch of crates back in there too. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Let me keep going, looking around at this deal before I go in. Look at that gizmo, doodaddy. I have no idea what that was. That's what it says sold. Somebody came in and bought it. Stole it out from under me. Huh. I could use another fence post driver. I think I'll buy that on my way out. I bet you it won't be much of anything. some plow blades if I want to get a plow for my tractor. Oh, there's some wheels I could make a cannon out of. of old Model A stuff around in here. Alright. Hi, Internet. Hi, Steve. Well, that's interesting, though. Looks like a toilet paper holder.
this place deserves a, a video all of its own, but I'm, I'm on a mission, so let me hurry up wrap up in here. There are a couple of things I want to buy, so. All right, I found a little bit of architectural salvage inside. I know the outside has doors and all kinds of stuff. Let me rotate. But I, I forgot they have this note to self when I need hinges, brass hinges and such. Like There's some double door closers if I need that. Look at the size of that strap. A couple of door pulls. I always get good prices here, too. All right, little odds and ends there. My castle door idea. All righty. Broadway Paul's page. All right, on the road, roadside buying right here. All right, looky there. That's a straight body. <laughs> it's up there in the air. That uh, frame looks really good. Some of the welds are farmer welds, but I want to do any better. Let me rotate here. All right, so look at that brand new hydraulic system in there. So he says that the, uh, and he advertised it when I bought it, he said that the, the piston uh, has a leak in the seal, so he's only used it 10 times himself. But that's that, all of the original chassis underneath there. Now I've got my own line since those were all drugged to heck and back. But once this gets on the farm, I, it, I'll never, I'll never have, this will be the longest trip it'll ever do. The tires were cool when he came in, so I know the bearings are all right. So real good, everybody. I could not be happier. This is exactly what a guy needs on a ranch. It's just the right height for my, that's the other thing, the, the big dump trucks. They're too big for my little tractor, my little Mahindra. Could not be happier. This thing's a little bit goofy, a little bit jank, but. I'll, I'll drive it slow for now. Check it when I get somewhere. Could not be happier. I'm gonna, gonna dump a pile of dirt with this thing. I'm gonna dig me a two acre pond. Happy as a camp. Woo! All right, well, I, you know I like Texas. A handshake agreement on the side of the road and it actually came to pass. Nobody robbed each other. That's uh, two farmers out here talking. Ranchers, whatever you want to call us. Two good old boys, I guess. All right, this is Steve, a thousand year home. I'm going to get it on the road and get this back home and put it to work. Thank you. Bye. Well, I'm telling you here, internet. Uh, dump trailer made a 70 mile trip all by itself, pulled straight and true, uh, as, you, as it should. <clears throat> Listen, I don't care what they say about dump trailers, all shiny, new, and black, and people are scared to use them. That one, I won't even care if I hit a tree or uh, hit it with my backhoe. I'm not going to deliberately tear it up. But y'all know, right, uh, what dump trailers. So look, that is that is an eight-foot bed there. So I could put a lot of dirt on there. So uh, anyway, the, the lights, of course, don't work. But these walls are solid. So I'm going to go ahead and stiffen it up a little bit. And... Uh, since it's reported that the hydraulics leak, now these are brand new hydraulics, and I know they are because the hoses and everything, I mean, that's brand new. That yellow button's hardly been pressed at all. So, but maybe it's just out of fluid. But uh, my experience on these hydraulics is, uh, I doubt the seal's out on the piston. I bet you anything it's a loose fitting somewhere. Uh, but maybe, maybe, so super fun. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff. Some things I got at Paul, some things just uh, magically appeared. I've got some cool stuff today. Look at that internet. I don't even know what that was. An <laughs> old piece of cast pipe. But here's what it's for. See this? This is uh, my pipe gate that I want to put back in the ground. But I'm going to use that bottom and put that bottom into concrete and then the pipe gate into that so it now it's cast so it won't uh you know it won't weld i was hoping that it was big enough i, I don't know i don't know hmm i think so i think about right there if i cut 
and I could put that in there and then uh, there'll be stone pillar. See right there, the stone. Gather that up, mostly from my daughter's place, but a little bit on Craigslist. So right here will be that 14 foot pipe gate. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I bought that from Paul's last time when a little knife, saw blade, knife blank thing. I totally dig it. But that'll be nice to have up so I can keep cattle out of my uh, house, which is back that direction. Let's see what else we have. The frickin' sword! I got a frickin' sword! Ah, oh, come on! Every man needs his frickin' sword. And this thing, I pulled it out, it's sharp. Let's set my phone, uh, phone up somewhere and see if I could do some pruning with this here sword. You know what make a man happier than a sword in his life? Two swords in his life. This thing is sharp, boys and girls. Uh, it came in sharp. Ah, uh, two-handed sword. I bought this just so that I could prune trees. That's my only excuse. Let's see, can, can you see me over here, internet? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Actually, this is a design choice in the house, and I got a cool idea for it, and I'm going to see if it works out. But uh, it's a design choice. So I've been looking for a long time at uh, what is the Spanish style sword, and hmm, Falchion was really it, but I decided that that's it. Anyway, it's going to go in my Connex, and uh, I'm going to look up some... Uh, some Spanish verse out of it about a sword and I'm gonna put it anyway it'll be cool when we do it let's do some more pruning let's do some more pruning oh, that one's low that one ah. 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 The only proper way to prune an oak tree, a sword. I tell, you know what? I'm going to hunt the, these hogs out here with this thing. That's what I'm going to do. A sword, internet. How much, how much more useless nonsense can a grown ass man add into his life? A sword, come on. I don't care how old you are. If you're a 90 year old fella right now looking at me, you wish you had this sword. It's a good sword too, let me tell you. It's hot. I mean, it's built well and it's tempered well. Look at that. I could bend it and spring right back, bend it, get cut on it. All right. So I got a project with that. When I get to it, then uh, you'll see the sword again. But how awesome. So I, come on now. Dump trailer for $600. The sword uh, was one third what the dump trailer cost. Don't be judging. I want, I have had swords before. So there's a, well, I won't tell us. I'll tell a sto sword story later. But a sword. All right. What else did I get? Not to be outdone by the sword story, but I asked Paul, I said, how much to put that axe back to work, that double-headed axe? He said, $25 bill. So looky there, I got a genuine I like the, the sculpture. Let's, uh, you can see that. Look at that little bit of, I don't know, filigree in there. There's a little maker's mark maybe right there. We'll see. Or maybe that's just where people missed a bunch. I don't know. But $25 axe, well, and I needed a double-headed axe. I don't know what I needed it for, but I need it. Well, because I'm doing timbering. All right. And a $15 fence post driver. Well, I can't go wrong with that. Let's put it right where it needs to be so we know where it is. My daughter right now has my other fence post driver. There we go. Now I won't lose it. Right there. Because I'm going to pull all of this fence line out. I'm going to rebuild this fence line. Put in the missing post. Put in these T-posts in between. And then put in the last bit of this. That gate will be right here. The stone will be a stone gate right here, matching it. And uh, a little bit here with a 
And I'm trying to get some free telephone poles. So John said if I can wrangle up a 40-foot trailer, he has a line on some free telephone poles. So, well, that's it for me, this Steve, a thousand years. What did I spend a Friday afternoon doing? Very productively. Bought a dump trailer for nothing. Uh, all brand new hydraulics on that's seventeen hundred dollars right there just in hydraulics and piston rams so if i gotta buy some seals and fix some seals i'm way up brand new tires on it let me look at them brand new tires Woo -yee. yeah them brand new 1970s tires well brand new to me but uh they came off a nice vehicle you could tell they came off a nice vehicle anyway super exciting day for me a kid in a candy shop and a sword i got a sword and a double-edged axe what else could a man possibly want post hole driver that was it and i got that too thrown in so all right like subscribe follow me along bye